Hello everyone, welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB Foundation examination and really greetings for the day. We are looking at chapter 5 still and we have another topic to get through in this particular section of the chapter 5 which deals with configuration management. Now this is a very small topic to just understand what is the configuration management is all about. So here we have just a few terms to remember and also understand that what is the configuration management deals with. So we have a configuration management uh, entirely dealing with the version control of the entities, uh, entities being the part of the resources of the testing. And not only limited to testing, it can be a part of the entire thing as well. Like uh, talking about the requirement, you talk about the design, and you talk about the code, the flowcharts, the algorithms and all. But these are the things which are taken care of by the respective departments or the teams who deal with it. But when it comes to testing, a test manager is again responsible for setting up an adequate configuration management for the entire test resources. For example, the test plan, the entry criteria, the exit criteria, the test cases, the execution, the defects, and so on. So these are the entities of testing which need to be tracked if there are any changes made to it or any kind of revision done on that, then we create a version of that. So generally we say if a particular entity is being revised, we have to manage the versioning of such changes which are taking place. And that basically helps you to have a tracking system which can let you know that what changes have taken place and what more we need to do to improvise our test cases to add value to it. So these are some of the inputs to be you know, taken from the understanding of configuration management, where configuration management is one term which, which is set up with help of uh, maybe a tool or manual or however it is, it can be designed or defined in the test planning state. So if you are asked at any point of time when the configuration management is set up, it is in test planning stage by the test manager. So test manager also selects a relevant tool it's not mandatory, but subjected if you have a responsibility on a lot of changes involved, then you do make use of tool to minimize your efforts on the test fares and other resources. Whereas there's another term which we call it as configuration control, which means that making sure that these versions are being managed within the execution process. So just setting up the adequate configuration management or the configuration management tool is not enough. We need to track those things as well that the versionings are being created and people are mapping those changes in the uh, you know entity which are being updated. So putting it all together it's like you know the entire thing is all about managing the history of revisions done on any entity of the test resource or testware throughout the testing life cycle and similarly we do have configuration management for the entire project so the tool cannot be just limited to testing it is for the entire project which comes maybe inbuilt for some of the tools in the test management and for some organization it is separately purchased only for the version control so you can have it like a you know a commercial based tool which can be scattering your entire project and as a part of it even testing comes into picture so you do not basically buy a separate tool for design or testing on the configuration part so it's just one tool and everybody makes use of it you log all your versioning there whenever you make a revision we also have a lot of other details which will be logged as a part of it that when it was done who did it and what were the you know trackable changes done to this entity and what impact does it have so that the other relevant or dependent activities can be upgraded similarly to address those new changes. So that is what is all about configuration management and this is one of the section of chapter 5 which will add more value to the understanding on the version control of a particular project. So this is it from this particular tutorial on the 5.4. We'll be looking at the 5.5 in the next tutorial, which will be following for this one. So stay tuned for upcoming tutorials and knowledge on the ISTQB Foundation examination. Thanks for watching team. Take care.
this is all for now. We have more videos coming up on the upcoming tutorials and also on the upcoming chapters of this uh, tutorial. So stay tuned for more videos. Do hit the bell icon for getting notified about the latest videos. And in case you have not subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe as early as possible. Because we'll be having more videos about technologies and testing coming up back after this, right after this. So uh, stay tuned and uh, till then, enjoy learning. Happy learning. Take care.